assalamu alaikum everyone today our video class is on mathematics additions up to 50 in the previous classes we have studied additions in a horizontal way 2 plus 3 1 2 1 2 so 1 2 3 4 5 this was the additions in horizontal these are the horizontal then after this additions we have studied number line what we studied number line these are the numbers a line with numbers with equal distance and so on so suppose we are having 3 plus 2 so first is the number 3 so we have to take the number 3 on this line then we have to take two jumps forward two jumps forward not backward we have to take two jumps forward so the number where we are stopping that will be the answer where we stopped we stopped at 5 that was what we learned in number line we studied additions in a horizontal way and number line today we are going to study additions in vertical is it clear horizontal is one beside the other vertical is one under the other now additions we have studied only single digit additions so 6 plus 2 7 plus 0 these we call additions which is kept one number under the other one below the other this is vertical additions additions in vertical method is it clear now this is the number 6 so what we are going to do we are going to keep six lines or six circles whatever you want 1 2 3 4 5 6 i kept six then my next number we have to keep below that that is 2 is it clear 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yeah. so you have to after six we have to continue your counting is it clear don't stop here after six 7 8 yeah. so where we stopped 8 yeah. so 6 plus 2 is 8 yeah. our answer is 8 yeah. so after counting six If you want, you can take six fingers, then take two more fingers. After six, seven, eight, you can write eight. Or if you want fingers, you can take. Or if you want, you can keep circles or like this lines and count. Is it clear? Hope you have understood this. Now coming to next one. What is this number seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is zero. Zero means nothing. So what we have to do when seven plus zero? Any number. Is added with zero. The answer will be the number itself. Now one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zero means nothing. So what we have to do? We have to bring that number here. Seven. Our number will be seven. Okay. See, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then take the second number. Three. Then near that number, you keep three lines. Then one. Count all these lines together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So after counting this all together, don't stop here again. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three. That is wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have to continue your counting with this two. Is it clear? Then I'll take additions with same. This is four. One, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four. So what is the one, two, three, four? Then five, six, seven, eight, eight. Zero plus three. So now here I kept zero. below now i am keeping zero above whether i keep zero above a uh, zero below 
the my answer will be zero means nothing nothing we have to keep here three that is one two three three you have to bring it down either it is seven plus zero or zero plus seven answer is same three zero plus three or three plus zero will get the same answer five one two three four five five again one two three four five so one two three four five continue your counting six seven eight nine ten so my number is ten ten means two digit number so what i have to do i have to directly keep like this only is it clear six seven six one two three four five six here it is one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i got thirteen so directly i'll be keeping thirteen here in this way if you get single digit answers you can keep if you get two digits to the directly whatever answer you are getting you have to keep is it clear so in this way you have to do additions in vertical method now i'll explain you some addition facts you have to always remember so our numbers are up to 100 so addition with zero whenever you are doing addition with zero zero means this is zero so now i am going to add any number 6 plus 0 1 plus 0 3 plus 0 9 plus 0 15 plus 0 or 27 plus 0 so what will be my answer you have to see here 6 plus 0 0 is nothing so you are keeping the same number 1 plus 0 1 only 3 plus 0 3 9 plus 0 9 15 plus 0 is 15 27 plus 0 is 27 this is one is the fact we have to remember additions with zero if you are adding a number with zero you will get the same number as your answer so on adding zero to a number you get the same number as the answer this is the addition with zero now addition with one addition with one that is number 1 4 plus 1 9 plus 1 6 plus 1 13 plus 1 29 plus 1 42 plus 1 so what we are getting when we add zero we will getting the same number if we add zero to any number if we add zero to any number if you adding zero to any number the answer will be the number itself six the answer is number itself six is the number answer is six one is the number uh, one is the answer three is the number three is the answer so when we add zero the answer will be the same number itself see six six one one three three nine nine fifteen fifteen twenty seven twenty seven this is the addition with zero one of the fact we have to remember that when we add zero to any number answer will be the number itself here when we add one to any number what is what we get we get the next number of this one what is the next number of five after five what you are getting sorry after four what we are getting five or if you count one two three four then you keep one one two three four five in this way you count it is same but one thing you remember to any number when you are adding one you will get the after number of it is it clear you will get the the answer will be the number after this number what is the number after 4 5 what is the number after 9 10 10 plus 1 is 9 plus 1 is also 10 of the number which we get after 9 is also 10 what is the number after 6 we have studied number what comes before what comes after so what comes after 6 7 comes 6 plus 1 is also 7 13 number after 13 comes 14 after 29 comes 
30. After 42 comes 42, 43. So when we are adding 1, on adding 1 to a number, you get the number after the given number as the answer. So we are getting after number of this. When we are adding 1, when you add 1 to any number, we get the after number of this number. The answer will be the after number of this. After 4, 5. After 9, 10. After 6, 7. After 13, 14. So these two facts we have to remember in addition. If we add 0, we will get the same number. If we add 1, we get the after number of this number. So this is the additions how we have to do in a vertical position. In the vertical method. In the previous class I told you in a horizontal method. This is vertical method. One, one thing you have to keep whatever number is there. That many lines. Then below that the second number. What is the second number? Beside that you keep that lines and totally add that and keep the write the answer. That is the way you have to do your additions. Hope you all have understood children. Thank you.